Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. Today in this video, you will see that how to blend text using offset path in Illustrator CC. So let's start. First of all, go to rectangle tool and draw a big rectangle along the whole artboard. Then go to the object and lock this shape. Now zoom to your artboard. Draw any shape or write any text so we will apply blend effect on it. I am making letter S by using rectangle tool. Add any light colors in it so it will be visible to us. By pressing shift plus alt key make a duplicate. Make another copy. And by pressing shift key rotate it to 90 degree. Now select all the objects and click on vertical align center. Adjust it a little bit by pressing alt key. Something like this. Okay select letter H. And go to pathfinder. And make a unite. If you don't have a pathfinder panel then go to window. You will find pathfinder option here. Okay, now we are going to apply blend effect on this letter. Zoom out to your artboard, align it to center. Then go to object, path, offset path, and uh, adjust offset path to around 20 pixels. Hit OK. Swap fill to stroke. I want to repeat this process around 15 times. For that, go to window and appear actions. Now clear all the actions. Create a new folder, let's give blend name to it. Now click on new action and uh, set function key to F2. Click on record. As you can see your recording has been started. Go to object, path, offset path and uh, hit ok. Now stop the recording. Press F2 from your keyboard to play the action that was a function key. If you don't want to play with the keyboard then uh, click on play icon. As you can see we have many copies here, I think it's fine. Now select all the strokes, only strokes. Go to the stroke panel and click on align stroke to inside. As you can see all the strokes have been changed. Now we need to select one by one and make stroke more thicker. Add stroke in a way that it will present blend effect. Uh, like reducing one pt in each of the stroke. For example, if we have 12 pt stroke in the first one, then we must have 11 pt in the second and uh, 10 pt in third and so on. Okay, delete these remaining strokes. And zoom out to your artboard. As you can see, blend effect is applied. Now select everything. By pressing Shift plus Alt key, make it a little bit bigger. Something like this. Now go to object and expand appearance. As you can see, stroke is changed in fill. Okay, now click mouse side button. And go to transform, rotate. And rotate to 30 degree. Hit OK. Make it bigger by pressing Shift plus Alt key. Go to rectangle tool and draw a big rectangle along the whole artboard. Select everything and make a clipping mask. In this way you can add blend effect in your text or shapes by using offset path. I hope you will like this video. If you have any question then don't hesitate to comment below. Thank you.